Good morning. Today Dad's building a wheelchair ramp in town, so I gotta feed everything. I'm running a little behind schedule, so I better get going. Let's do this. sure how they are to be honest we had the bulls with them they're they're shortbread these heifers are going to be in our sale uh next friday uh, all the ones that have the uh green turquoise tags are going to be in that sale there's 25 of them these are all brangus heifers but they're not registered uh i just didn't keep papers up on them but anyway Got that bunch fed. Y'all didn't see it. I had to cut the camera, but I about got stuck coming through that gate next to that first trough. It's pretty deep there. And uh, I guess the old four wheel drive wasn't locked in yet because I uh, got worried for a minute. I had to shut the camera down. Got mud all over my camera. Anyway, we got it clean, got out, got them fed. So there they are. On to the next ones. All right, so here is the next group of heifers. I already fed them, I have to feed them by hand. This place here is right on a major highway and uh, I'm too afraid to open the gates to drive in here. They oftentimes will come out and uh, usually they'll follow you back in, but I didn't want to take a chance. So I just stopped outside the gate and filled up with buckets. These heifers here, uh, Y'all saw these heifers in the last video, just a little bit. These are the ones that have just calved. There's one of the calves there. These heifers are, they're right at three. All these heifers calved back November and uh, November, December. There's a bunch of the calves over there walking away. Anyway, so, Yes, you heard me correct. I know some of y'all raised your eyebrows when I said these heifers were three years old having their first calf. 
I know a lot of y'all, when y'all see this, are gonna probably leave nasty comments and tell me I'm not doing my job right and everything, and that's fine. You know, that's your opinion to each their own. People often say that if you can't have a, if you can't get a heifer to cab at two, she ain't worth having. Well, you know, if that works for you and you go right on ahead, congratulations, proud of you. We could have these heifers cab at two, but I like to wait and breed them later so that they're closer to three. They're about 30 months whenever they calve. These heifers will be three. Well, this month. They were born March and April of 18, I guess. Anyway, I like to wait and breed them when they're around 20, 22, 24 months old. That way, these heifers are a whole lot bigger. They've got their, you know, larger frame, larger size. I don't have to pull as many calves. I don't like pulling calves, all right? If you ever had to pull a calf, it never fails. They never want to calve until midnight on days when it's pouring down rain and about 40 degrees outside. So it's it's not any fun, all right? I don't want to pull them. You pull them, it sets the heifer back. You know, she's got to recover from that. It's hard on her. A lot of times you end up losing the calf. It's just, it's, it's no good. So since we're keeping these heifers for us, these are our replacement heifers. I don't mind waiting and, you know, an extra six, seven, eight months to have less problems. Now, yeah, granted, over the life of that cow, I may be a calf short of what I could have had had I made her calf at two years old. But to me, it's worth it not to have to worry with it. They rebreed quicker. It's just, it works for us. To each their own. If you don't like that, that's totally up to you. I know whenever I sell these heifers and I tell people that they're 30 months old and they're seven months bred, they really like it. So anyway, on to the next bunch. I think they're ready. I'll be right there. Village. Hi, how are you? You hungry? Hi, Doc. You doing all right? Call that one Doc. She's got a little gray spot on her neck. Sweet as pepper in here, though. These heifers here are also going to be in our cell next Friday. These heifers are, there's 25 of them, they're registered. They're just like that, oh, that group you saw earlier in the video. I didn't, I couldn't think of it at the time, but those heifers are right at two years old. They're 22 to 24 months old, same age as these. Um, we've got several herds, one herd I didn't keep papers up on. So that's why these heifers are registered. They have a different herd. The other herd is out of the commercial herd, but they're all purebred Brangus cows. So they're all looking at me because I'm not used to somebody getting out and videoing while they're trying to eat. I'm sorry, ladies. Y'all go back to eating and I'll leave you alone. You have a good day now. You're welcome. Here's the next set. These heifers here are all yearlings. I know, I'm talking too much here. Oh. Hi, you hungry? Yeah, they're 
that's where it comes. Oh, that's the good stuff. Excuse me, Mama. Excuse me. They got enough. These heifers here, like I said, they're all yearlings. They were weaned back in October. And uh, we put them up here just to hold them over the winter. There are a couple of grown cows in here. I think there's four or five, but those are older cows that were, had big calves on them. They're, when I say old, they're old. Like, uh, well, this cow walking here, She's 16 years old. There's a uh, one in here that's 15. And there's a couple in here that are, I think one that's 13. Oh, there's two that are 14. But these are, these are old cows, and uh, don't have. You know, when the cows get that old, they, they lose their teeth. They don't have a whole lot of teeth. Hard to eat. So we put them in here, fed them over the winter, help them out. These cows are all bred. They'll all calve again. You know, come spring. So good mamas hate to get rid of them just because they're old. Raise a good calf every year. They just, they do too good a job and they get old, they can't eat enough and they lose a little bit of weight. So we put them up here with these young heifers, kind of helps these young heifers settle down having a grown cow with them and uh, just makes life easier for all of us. All right, so on to the next group. All right, well, Dad got back from building his wheelchair ramp a little early. He's putting out hay now with our 6215. He's already put out the four bales with the cows at the house. Now he's taking four up to the Morgan place up on the corner. I'm going to take one. I'm in the 6105. I'm going to take one to our bulls that I fed this morning. And uh, we've got four bulls locked up by themselves that are a little older. Um, I'm going to take them a bell of hay and go from there. This tractor sure is muddy. back window out of the tractor good lord i'd have never lived to eat that one down <sighs> mercy 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 got my heartbeat going just a little bit that back glass only about 500 dollars so glad it didn't break all right so i'm gonna catch my breath and try to get my heart quit pounding and then uh go feed these bulls Downshift. Downshift again. Come on. Yeah. Mud holes everywhere. I wish it wasn't so muddy. I ever tell y'all how much I hate playing in the mud? Ugh. That's how lazy folks do it right here. there. Looks like a good spot. Woo! I sure will 
will be glad when it dries up. It's hard to do one-handed. Well, harder than with two hands. There you go. Now let's go open that gate, let the bulls in here. Y'all need some hay? <sighs> All right. This gate here, the bulls got into a fight one day and they broke it off the hinge. So now I got to wrestle with it to get it to unlatch. Uh, here we go. These bulls here, like I said, there's four of them in here. I fed them earlier. These four bulls, that one over there, he's uh, one of the smaller bulls, the younger bulls. He just block him out. These four over here are the older bulls that we've had for sale. I mean, technically they're all for sale, but Realistically, the only ones that are going to sell are those older ones, the bigger ones here. So, all right, back to the house. Oh. Let's drive forward 30 feet just so I can get out and close this gate. I need a gate hand, I just need someone to ride shotgun with me and open the gates for me. Dad had one of those for a long time. That was me. My kids are still too young. They're all in school. Not able to help, but man. Now I know why Dad always made me go with him just to open the gates. Now it's good again. <sighs> Now I'm coming this hay now. All right. Get this one. Get out of the mud. Y'all like this here? A little redneck ingenuity right there. Works pretty good though. Gate secure. All right. I'm so old and fat. It's hard just to get in and out of the tractor anymore. Ugh. I should probably really think about doing some cardio. Yeah, probably. All right. Cardio's no fun. Who wants to do that? When you got cool tractors to ride around in. That'll go six miles an hour. Uh-oh, second gear. Mm, let's go third. Sling mud all over. See, that's why there's mud all on the tractor. Those dummies like me go too fast. Switch to high range. There we go. Now we get somewhere. I better slow down. Hit these rough spots here and then I'll be off in the ditch. Dad will be all upset trying to figure out why there's ruts all in the road, mud everywhere. 
mom be the one that got to worry about. Mom's the one that gets mad and there's mud in the road. She gets mud on her SUV. She'll have me out here with a shovel. Anyway, all right, y'all, be good. All right, we're back. I'm thinking I'm gonna mess my little Kubota tractor there. It's an old 34 horse Kubota tractor. It hasn't been cranked in a while. It's pretty much sat there for about three months. You can see the tire's kind of low, but the uh, battery stays. I got my booster cables. I'm gonna see if I can't boost this thing off just to get it to crank, let it run for a little bit. Use the old John Deere. Yeah, it shouldn't be too difficult. Hopefully, I can get this hood raised in one hand. There we go. Uh oh. Every time this stupid thing here hangs. All right, John Deere, y'all need to fix that. Everything you got is outstanding, but one cable. I don't know why. I guess if that's all I have to complain about. It's probably not much, really. All right, booster cables. Boy, these cables have seen better days, but that's a good set of cables. Good and heavy. They don't make them like that anymore. Can't find them real heavy ones like that. All right, maybe that'll work. untangled don't let them touch mercy probably should have done this before I hooked anything up would have made a whole lot more sense all right let's see here come on battery terminal that hooked up Jeez, it's taking forever. This thing probably won't even crank. All right. Black to negative, red to positive. All right. Now, let's see what it'll do. Key in it. Most important, are we in neutral? want to be going nowhere yeah we're good let's see let's give it a little bit of throttle all right fingers crossed oh battery's weak I may have to go crank the John Deere all right it ain't that cold but it's at the glow plug warm up a little bit Yep. All right, so let's go crank the John Deere. Let it run for a little bit. Come on there, little buddy. Alright. Oh, come on. Yeah, let it sit just a few more minutes. Alright, let's try it again. It's set for about 15 minutes.
start the battery up just a little bit. Woo! Is it lunchtime yet? I'm getting hungry. All right, well, it's been about three hours since we last cranked that tractor. Uh, I let it run for about 30 minutes. I think the battery's bad. It cranked uh, again after I killed it, but it sure does act like it's weak, so I don't know what the deal is. <laughs> anyway, I got everything fed. Everything's good to go. Uh, I'm about to leave and head back home. I, like I said, I live about an hour from the ranch, so well, about 45 minutes. So I've got a little bit of a drive. It is uh, last y'all just saw I was complaining about needing lunch. Well, I never got lunch, so I'm hungry for dinner now. It's uh, 5.30, I'm about to find me something to eat. Couple things I've noticed since I've started making these videos, well, three really. One, I suck at making videos, but that's apparent. Two, I didn't realize how loud my truck is, especially like it's not quite so bad when I'm on the highway cruising got my cruise set but whenever I turn off the highway especially when it downshifts man my truck is loud it's awesome isn't it ah it sounds bad mm. yeah it's pretty awesome but it sucks for making videos and I do a lot of my videos in the truck just because my father is not the most patient man in the world that's a kind way of saying he grabs a lot whenever I'm filming and not working so I try to do it while I'm in the truck and not in front of him the way he doesn't have to I don't have to get grabbed that anyway um i make it sound like he's a bad guy he's not a bad guy he's just a hard worker and he expects me to get after it when i'm over there so that's fine <laughs> other thing is what the heck is this i've never noticed this before i first saw that i thought i had dirt on my lip i was like oh it could be like cow manure who knows but it's not i don't know what is that? It's not a mold. It's not a... It's not a freckle. It wasn't there a few weeks ago or that I recall. I don't know. But it's been in every one of these videos. I may need to get that looked at. I don't know. Anyway, my mustache will grow and eventually it'll, it'll hide it. But... Anyway, that's it for today. I'm hungry. I'm about to go eat. Until next time, y'all be kind, be good, and behave. I'll see y'all around.